Have you ever pondered about the health of our oceans, the life-giving blue heart of our planet? Imagine, if you will, the vast expanse of the sea teeming with diverse marine life, each creature playing a vital role in maintaining the intricate balance of our ecosystem. These waters do not just nurture the myriad species beneath the surface, they also support our very existence. Yet beneath the waves lies a grim reality. Sadly, our oceans are in grave danger, primarily due to a human activity known as overfishing. Overfishing, defined as the removal of a species of fish from a body of water at a rate that the species cannot replenish, is threatening the balance of life in our oceans. We're seeing disturbing trends that show many species of fish, such as the Atlantic bluefin tuna and the orange ruffy, are now on the brink of extinction. Overfishing is most rampant in areas like the South China Sea and the Western Pacific Ocean, where fishing regulations are often overlooked. The rate at which fish populations are declining is alarming. For instance, the population of Atlantic cod off the east coast of North America has plummeted by more than 90% in the last three decades. This unsustainable practice is like drawing from a bank account without ever making a deposit. The implications of overfishing are far-reaching, affecting not only the fish species but also the entire marine ecosystem and humans. The domino effect of overfishing is catastrophic. It disrupts the delicate balance of the marine food chain, leading to the extinction of certain species. Predators lose their prey, and in turn, their numbers dwindle. The ripple effect is felt throughout the entire ecosystem, even affecting the smallest plankton. Overfishing also has a profound socio-economic impact, particularly on coastal communities that rely on fishing for their livelihood. With fish stocks depleted, their primary source of income is threatened, leading to economic instability. The repercussions extend beyond the ocean, as millions of people worldwide depend on fish as a primary source of protein. If we continue on this path, the consequences will be dire for both marine life and humans. The question then arises, what can we do to halt this disastrous trend? The answer lies in embracing sustainable fishing. This concept, simply put, involves fishing practices that respect our marine ecosystems, ensuring we don't deplete fish populations beyond their capacity to recover. It's a delicate balance, but it's not an impossible one. Consider the case of Alaska's wild salmon fisheries. Through a well-managed system of quotas and careful monitoring, they've achieved a remarkable feat. They've ensured that their salmon populations remain healthy and vibrant year after year. This is but one example of the power of sustainable fishing. It's a beacon of hope, a testament to what we can achieve when we respect the laws of nature. By supporting sustainable fishing practices, we can help to restore the health of our oceans and ensure that future generations can also benefit from these vital resources.